why is a TypeScript compiler porting from TypeScript over to Go and not another language? That's what I talked about with Anders Heilsberg, the creator of TypeScript at Build. Now, if you have a full episode where you talk about everything TypeScript and C Sharp, check out episode number 261 of the Dev Questions podcast. But here's Anders talking about some of those limitations. If we started from first principles, oh my Lord, we would, I mean, it, 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 it is just way too big. I mean, TypeScript is now, well, I mean, certainly if, if you look on GitHub, it's the number three programming language after JavaScript, after Python. <laughs> but if you put together JavaScript and TypeScript, hmm. then they're number one. Um, so I mean, and 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 today the two are have have become so commingled, right? And it is like our compiler. Whenever you're doing anything with JavaScript in Visual Studio Code, you're using our compiler. Hmm. That's the one that delivers the language service for JavaScript and TypeScript. Okay. And it just if there's no types in your code, fine. Well, that it'll have to infer as best it can. But it's the same compiler. It's the same infrastructure, right? So we have an enormous amount of dependencies out there and we can't just start over from scratch and expect to ever finish hmm. you know but we can port um and that's uh, that's basically what this effort has been about it's it's literally we want to port so that we get precisely the same semantics hmm. so that we get precisely the same types computed or inferred for the same piece of code we literally want to be able to open the drawer, take out the old compiler, put in the new compiler, close the drawer again, and you never know the difference. 